Assassin's Creed Unity is now better than it has ever been. And like many older games, this is because of mods. So chances are, if you're a big fan of Assassin's Creed Unity, you've probably heard or have even played with some of these great new mods for the game. I wasn't sure if I was going to make a video on it, because other YouTubers have already done such a great job of showcasing these mods, but if I can help spread the awareness of the incredible work by these talented modders, then why not? Now of course they are mods, so they're only accessible for those who own AC Unity on PC. I'm sorry for those on console who won't be able to experience these great changes, but if you are on PC and haven't tried the mods I will talk about in this video, I strongly recommend you do so. The first big one that a lot of people are talking about is ACU Fixes by Name Taken. I'm going to leave these mods linked in the description if you want to check them out for yourself. They're super simple and straightforward to install. Just follow the instructions on Nexus. But this mod tweaks, adds, and changes a numerous amount of things that just make the overall experience of AC Unity so much better. The one I really love in particular is being able to quick shot and throw down bombs from pretty much any position. Even while jumping, falling, vaulting, hanging on a wall. I mean, this has been my favorite thing to do with this mod. That is so badass, and that's the kind of freedom and creativity this edition allows for. You can also drop smoke bombs while doing numerous actions as well, even when you're assassinating someone, which just allows you to keep that flow and fast-paced stealth. And you can throw smoke bombs from areas where the game wouldn't originally let you, like in hiding places for example. It's so much fun. On top of this, you get a wider, pulled-back FOV when aiming a bomb, which makes it so much easier to see and throw these bombs at longer distances. Obviously in the vanilla version of the game, the camera for whatever reason pushes in and there are times where it can be hard to see where you're aiming exactly. This completely removes that issue. It's not just with the bombs either. That also goes for the guillotine guns. On top of this you get a designated button for entering windows. There is technically one in vanilla, but it is so inconsistent. This mod makes it so that you can enter windows and hiding places extremely seamlessly. It feels as smooth as entering windows in Syndicate now. Another really nice quality of life improvement was to the cover system. If you've ever played Unity, you know the cover system can be very janky and a little difficult to move in and out of at times. This mod makes it so easy. I was actually shocked at how easy it was to get out of cover. The catch ledge or as it's called in Unity, Breakfall, was made far more reliable and consistent, making it feel more in line with its predecessors. There's a more responsive crouch button. For some reason, crouching in the base game had always had this weird delay to it. Again, just felt very janky. This mod fixes that as well. You get an auto and slow walk, and even a hood toggle, which is really cool. And if you choose to do so, you can even activate slow motion whenever you'd like to create some cinematic moments, and you can switch on a look behind button. All of this, along with various bug fixes, is what this mod brings. To me, this is the definitive way to play this game now. There's no way I'm going back to vanilla. Definitely check it out if you're on PC. If you want a great showcase of this mod and all the different things you can do in it, I recommend Altair Stealth's video. He did a super clean run with this mod. I'll link his video in the description as well. But the next mod I want to talk about is Halzoid's Outfit Manager by Halzoid98. And this mod allows you to pretty much create whichever color scheme for the different gear pieces in Unity you want. Again, after using this, to me, it's a must-have. I always thought some of the color schemes in Unity were very odd, and this mod allows you so much creativity and extra customization. It's fairly easy to install 
doll, and I had a lot of fun trying to come up with these different outfits. I love the red and black color combination. Oh, wait a minute. Am I, I a Templar? I Point is, I can finally use that color combo on a lot of the outfits within the game, and it looks so sick. I even made this ridiculously ugly neon pink and green fit, just to give you an example of how far you can go with this mod. It's fantastic. There's so much depth to this thing. I've seen people create some really unique stuff. So go check out Outfit Manager as well if you haven't yet. But as someone who's always loved Assassin's Creed Unity and always been a bit saddened by this game's wasted potential, these mods are like a godsend. It feels like Unity is finally starting to reach that full potential it had back when we first got it in 2014. And can we just appreciate that the mod community and passion for this game is still going stronger than ever nine years later. I mean, who knows? This could be the start of even more great mods. It's no surprise to me that the community and modders care more about improving the game than Ubisoft themselves. This game has just been on such a wild journey, so let's keep it going. If you're on PC, if you like Assassin's Creed Unity, give these mods a try and go support Name Taken and Housoid. If you're on console? I don't know what to say, I'm sorry. But as a longtime fan of this game, it holds a very special place in my heart. And for the first time in forever, I'm genuinely excited about the future of this game and the amazing creations people can come up with. But let me know in the comments, have you tried some of these mods yet? And what other things would you hope to see brought or changed in AC Unity in the future? As always, if you guys enjoyed the video, I'd appreciate it if you left a like and considered subscribing to the channel if you're new. Special thank you to all my members for supporting me, it really means a lot. And other than that, thanks for watching, and have a great rest of your day, Assassins.